Joe, tremendous fight back and a thoroughly deserved point. Even though it wasn't what we wanted, the lads have showed great desire to rescue that point for you. Yeah, they have. Um, I just said to them, in uh, hugely, hugely proud of them for the, for the second half performance and the way they've reacted and come out um, second half. But I've also challenged them that the first half is not acceptable. Um, and they've let themselves down first half um, by not doing the things that we're asking them to do um, and not putting into plan what we're, what we're working on with them. Um, so massively, massively disappointed for the first half. Um, for the second half, there's only one team tried to win the game. Um, we've completely controlled the game, completely controlled possession, which is what we asked them to do. Um, and it would have been a travesty if, we, uh, if we'd come away from here with nothing. First half, there was a few exciting moments with the um, Max Bauer down the left and Ethan Cachoso on the right, causing them problems. They didn't like being run at. No, they didn't. Um, and to be fair, all three lads that have come in for us today, um, Alex was exceptional at right back. Um, Max drifted in and out a little bit, but he was a real threat. Um, and Ethan's, Ethan's dangerous. Um, but first half, there was a couple of moments, but we've given two soft goals away. We haven't stopped the crosses. I think there's five crosses that came into the box too easily in the first 10 minutes. Um, so we're giving teams a head start before we actually come out and show what we can do. And I've just said to them in there, you shouldn't need me to, to get on at you and give you a rollick in half time um, to then come and do what we're trying to do and show what a good side you are. Yeah, there's a lovely build up and play from Max Bauer, pulled the ball back for George Brown who struck the post, that would have been a, a wonderful team goal. And then of course Omar with the penalty, upended by the keeper and uh, puts it wide. Yeah, I mean, literally Brownies at the post, great little move, one of the first, the, the first good bits of play that we've done. It's a post, they go down the other end, we switch off, ball into the box and we're turning it down and that's how quickly the games can, can change. Um, and it can drift away from you at that stage. Um, we get the penalty um, and then Omar's put it wide, you know, you've got, it, that happens. Um, and it was just drifting a little bit the first half until we did get the um, get the goal back, uh, and I said to them half time, "You're lucky that you're in the game." That, that's that's how yeah. that's how harsh I was on that half time. It was the right time to, to to pull that goal back, and a sublime finish from Max. Yeah, he did excellently. He, he, you know, as I say, he drifted in and out a little bit, but when he was involved in the game, he was he was a real threat, uh, and he did did do excellently, um, and a very very good finish um, for the goal. Um, so it's difficult for new lads to come into a team where they don't know people, so it's really good, really positive that the, the three of them have, have made a good impact today. Yeah, we pulled it back to 2-2 two -two when um, Ronnie Kelly pulled a little, lovely little pull back for Omar to finish and we thought, 2-2, two -two, yeah, we've rescued a point. And then there's a breakaway and I think there was a foul on the halfway line which led to their goal. Yeah. And, you know, former Pickering player Matt Broadley thought he'd done us again, but... Um, wasn't yeah. to be. I mean, the foul, the foul for their third goal is Wayne Scott clearly fouled in the box, got pulled back. If I start talking about the standard of refereeing, not just today, right across the league, it's abysmal. It's a, a, fact, a factual comment, it is abysmal. Okay, so I, I'm having to flip and bite my tongue every single week. I mean, the guy today is a joke. Um, and in fairness, it was a joke for both sides. Uh, it's just, it's horrific. Um, but clear foul for Wayne for the goal, so then we're 3-2 down, frustration boils over, Jamie gets sent off. Um, but credit to the boys, I mean, even when we've gone down to 10, we've changed the shape again to try and really push and they've kept possession. And there's only one team that's going to try and, to try and score and try and get back in the game. They, they, they weren't interested, they just sat, sat deep. And, you know, there was only, again, all second half, there was only one team that was being positive and, um, and looked, like, uh, looked, looked, looked like they deserved to win the game. For the last 15 minutes, you had to um, bring on the skipper, who obviously we rested because of the the pitch today for a nasty looking injury to Blake Drury. Any news on Blake? Yeah, Blake was absolutely first class today and he has been for the last few weeks to be fair to him um, and today, I mean he was man of the match today by, by a mile um, for us uh, and he has been for, for a few weeks, he's been excellent. Um, yeah, it looked nasty and we're hoping it's not as bad, um, as, bad as it seemed um, but it's too early to tell, you know, we need to wait till until the pain goes away a little bit and the swelling goes down and then we'll be able to get Kurtz to assess him and I've just been and said, you know, the Bottlesford physio was excellent and, and uh, helped us out when Curtis was busy uh, in the change room with Blake, so credit to them. For and that. finally, we did, um, we did seem to get more injury time than 
than was expected really i think it was about 11 minutes when uh, i've got no idea what up, popped, was up popped ethan with a yeah. with a, with a great finish and he, i think we deserved at least the point and to go away at three two would have been very disappointing yeah um at least a point um we deserved today yeah i mean by far the better side um certainly second half um Great finish for the goal, thoroughly deserved, um, and yeah, we'll take the point um, and we'll reflect on the, 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 the stuff that wasn't so good, uh, and then we'll go into a big game next week at home to Beverly. Thanks, Joe. Thank you.